Hey guys, it's me, Verilyn. Today is all about discipline. <laughs> As um, it's only 8 14 p.m., but I'm exhausted. I got up this morning and went to the gym, did my usual, um, and then I went to the doctor's appointment. I had a doctor's appointment that started at 1, and I literally got home around like 6, and I just cooked and ate. And so I'm ready to like fall asleep. I feel like I didn't do anything today. <laughs> but, um, of course, I got my notebook, as promised. I wanted to kind of tease out some of the things that were talked about yesterday. And as I was looking at my notes, one of the things that I put, like, four stars next to was um, when we were talking about one of the relevant, one of, one of the consensus in something that a lot of women got out of. And in case somebody's watching this vlog and they didn't watch my last vlog, um, watch my last vlog. And I talk about how yesterday I went to a discussion group on Lean In. And um, it was a group of me and about 25 white women um, that were all um, mid to late 50s, um, some in their mid to early 40s. I'll give them that. <laughs> and that was definitely the young woman in the room but then I was also the black woman in the room and um but race didn't really come up that much but besides the point that was yesterday's vlog today I kind of wanted to um to get into at least one because there was so much that I put down here a lot, a lot of stuff I wrote were like links um to things that I have to look up one link is um fucked in park slope dot com <laughs> I want to check that out um I need to check out an op opting out um, article in the New York Times, composing a life. Be I wrote Buckman. I have to look that up. So I basically, I just have a lot of things I need to look up. One thing that um, came up a lot that I definitely want to download is um, How to Be a Woman by Caitlin Morin. Morin? I wrote M-O-R-A-N. I'm not the best follower, though. Um, she's a British journalist, and her book kept coming up as an example of a woman that does address some of the things that were missing, that was said to be missing from the Lean In book, which is just how the realistic factor, like how realistic is this? Um, and I think also, does, I don't remember what they said about the book, but I, I'm assuming also the leaning into your family aspect. Um, and then, of course, Tina Fey's Bossy Pants, which was on my list and I need to see. Um, but one of the things, the thing that I kind of want to talk about today is um, the negotiation factor. That was something even before um, the, the discussion I thought was really useful. Just, you know being able to negotiate. So one thing that I learned, I would never forget, I was working in a finance department. Yes, I had another life when I was doing finance. And and when it's a raise, and I wanted my raise to be, and this was, I was, I was hourly, obviously. It was like I was in college. And I think I was making, I'm not going to say what I was making, but I wanted to make like $2 more than what I was making. Uh, yeah, $2. Yeah, $2 more than what I was making. And my manager basically told me that I can't get $2 more. No, okay. Actually, okay, it's a longer story. It wasn't my manager that actually told me. Someone else told me that the reason why they wouldn't give me $2 more is because you can't have a big jump like that. You can start out higher, but you, once you're in the at a certain rate, you can't make a big jump because then anyone will come to them and be like, I want a big jump in the equivalent. If she got a big jump, I could get a big jump. So this is like an HR issue. So I, um, what that taught me was that you need to go in at a, at a price that you're comfortable with. You shouldn't think, oh, let me just, and I do this still to this day. Let me just go in and, you know, and whatever. Just go in, and when I get there, they'll see how hard I'm working, and they'll automatically know that I deserve a raise. It doesn't kind of work that way. And one of the things Cheryl t um, talks about in her book is how her husband told her to not um, accept her initial um, offer from fa from Facebook. So Facebook offered her something that was pretty much very comfortable, like she was happy with, but her husband advised her, like, you should never take the first offer, always negotiate up. And that was definitely an aha moment for me. Even now, as I'm like, you know, a headhunter called me the other day, um, 
And he, you know, after emailing back and forth and he was um, hiring for um, social media editor or something like that. And like, we were going back and forth and then finally he called me and he's like, okay, so what's your rate? Because I guess he wa- we had to do the paperwork for him to actually submit me as a person um, interested in a position. And I was like, I think I, I said something like, I gave him a range and he automatically jumped for the higher end of the range. And I was like, damn, <laughs> I could have said something higher. Um, but obviously the moment had passed. I mean, I could always, I mean, anything before the deadline, but that's beside the point. Like that taught me, like even to this day, I even though I know this, it's still a hard hurdle to jump. Um, and what, okay, so as we were talking about this, I revealed that I have a theory on this as to why women often negotiate for a lot less than men. Not to say this is the only reason. There are a lot of reasons for why women make, like, what, 72 cents a dollar or something? Something in the 70 cents a dollar for every dollar a man spent makes. But um, one of the th- issues I've seen in my own career is that women don't really tell each other what they make. Um even when it's appropriate. I know there's a lot of times when that's very inappropriate. But I've had situations, even among my girlfriends, where I'm like, okay, how much did you make? And I'm very blunt about asking, so I more or less always get an answer. But it's always that like, oh, why are you asking me? And I think the only way that we can be competitive is if we tell each other what we make. You know, I'm not, if I'm, and and it's also the whole like, if you're doing it, if I'm doing it for cheaper factor, then they're going to hire me and not hire you, right? So it's kind of like there needs to be, like, a consensus of, like, how much everyone makes. I, when the, I'm trying to figure out how I could tell this story without it coming out um, as if I'm, like, blowing the whistle on something. But anyway, I was doing a job. Okay, there's no way to tell the story without coming out. But let's just say I was doing a job for someone, and um, I was doing it at a certain rate. And then I started doing the same job for that person's boss, essentially. Um, And I was thinking, this is how much I'm making. You know, I'm going to do it for the same price. And then that person ultimately was like, no, no, no. What are you doing? Um, And then she revealed to me how much she's making. And I was like, oh. (laughs) You know what I mean? And that was a big eye opener for me too because like no matter what, you can always ask for more. Um, And it's helped me even just with contracts and like, you know, even as a freelancer, asking for a contract is something that a lot of my friends don't do. But because of, you know, the advice I've gotten, I now do it. It's because people have advised me and told me what they do and what their learning curve. Like, I don't have to make every mistake. And I think that that's something that women need to... I don't know whether that comes from mentoring um, or just... Mentoring on a micro level, right? It doesn't have to be like this one on one, like personal deep connection, but just like on a like, yeah, when I started out, I was making X amount and now I make X, you know what I mean? So it's always a transition. I mean, not transition, um, uh, increase, an uh, elevation. I, and I, I, I could only assume that men do that for each other. Um, but maybe for them, it's more about bragging, okay, this is how much I make. And, but in a way, it helps because. Not everyone is on the same page. Why is my bra showing? Um, So, yeah. So, that's one of the things that I kind of wanted to get across today is, you know, and even among my girlfriends, I think. Oh, I just got a Facebook ping. I don't know what that is. Even among my girlfriends. Oh, that was an India picture comment. Uh, Even among my girlfriends, I think that they're starting to to get used to we talk a lot more about it but I do definitely remember in the beginning it being this like I was being oh that's Verilyn just being Verilyn right um instead of it being like oh let's have a serious discussion about this you know we are all in media all of my friends and I but I one thing I think that helps us that we've gotten to the point where we're not competitive because I think we all have our own thing and I and I unfortunately I think for women And it's okay to be competitive, right? I think for women sometimes, if you feel this competition, then it's like turn into cattiness and it's like I'm going to avoid this person. Whereas I think healthy competition, there is nothing wrong with it. And furthermore, I'm always going to walk around like no one can do the job the way that I can do it. 
yeah, you might be, you might have your website and I have a website, but it's not gonna, like, we are two different individuals. And I feel like if you're the, if you're being very specific, you're going to tell your truth. There's no way that we can compete in that way. So I feel like among my friends, I'm lucky enough to have that. And that's something I guess I would encourage to other people. Um, the best way to negotiate is to know how much people typically make, right? So let's have that conversation. I'm not saying put it up on your Facebook page now, but definitely, why not? You know, especially if it's the same. Especially if it's stuff like a shoot, like you're go, you're doing a package for somebody. You know, if you got paid. Do you get paid $800 a shoot? Do you get paid $500 a shoot? Something like that, concrete, you know. And and, I, and unfortunately, I would say the more, the best advice I've gotten in that area is from men. Hands down. I'll ask a guy. I'll put, even if I put something up on Facebook, like, you know, I'm deb- debating on advice by a camera or something like that. Most of the time, it's, well, also because I, most of the time, adding the guy. So maybe it's a chicken and egg thing I'm adding the guys to give me advice and so they give me the advice um but not always obviously I get some amazing advice from women and I have been very lucky in the sense that I've definitely had some great mentors in my life and even people that maybe don't see themselves as mentors in my life but because of the level of advice they've given me even just on Facebook I feel like I'm so lucky so that will be my question of the day today and at the 1124 mark is, you know, how how have you negotiated it in the past? Does it come from knowing what other people make? Does it come from a mentor? Does it come from just instincts of knowing, like, I need to make more? Or, you know, one of the things that didn't come up in our discussion is people that just don't have the option to negotiate. I need to feed my kids. I need to pay rent. I need to do all these things. And... You sitting here talking about negotiate what as the option of me not getting the job is that's not an option, right? Me not working is not an option. So maybe your plan to negotiate has been like, listen, I'm in the union and <laughs> this is what they pay. And I get a union job because I need to work and I need to have benefits and I need security. And that's cool too. <laughs> so yes, let me know what you think as always. Um, See, I just need to start these things, and I get all riled up, and I can't stop talking. Um, But I'm definitely going to go watch Americans. The Americans, if anyone else is watching this show, hit me up. I have not, no one in my life watches it, but I know it's a popular show, and I love it, and I need to talk to somebody about it. So let me know. I'm going to go watch The Americans and kind of relax um, and start work for tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. Peace out. (laughs)